we reported for you on the news about what happened on Sunday. It's a Monday, it's a midday, and the people of Sogakopa are up in arms again, very angry and unhappy, and they've blocked the major highway. Ties have started to be bent, and if you look around, these are people who are not happy with what happened, the murder of the assemblyman for this area. And it is a very chaotic situation already because this is an international route, part of the West African Trans Highway, the route or the N1 as it is popularly called. And the bridge is inaccessible. What this means is that if you're coming from Benin, if you're coming from Nigeria, if you're coming from Togo, headed towards Ghana or continuing to Ivory Coast, you will be unable to make it unless you go to use other parts of the entry point, for instance, you have to return all the way to Ho uh, to use the Adomi Bridge. That is the situation here. I'll attempt to speak to some of the uh, young men who are masterminding this uh, particular route. Now, what is happening here is that this pest uh, is attempting to move through, uh, taking a corpse, I should believe, uh, with a siren on. But these people would not agree. Uh, let me move close and hear what is happening, uh, why they will not allow it. Every day demonstration. What, 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 what if police arrest one person? Every day we are going to demonstrate against them. You will not agree. We will not agree today. We will not agree tomorrow. What is the main fight for you today? Because this happened yesterday. How Why are you for dying? New elected assembly member. Just two months ago, they just let him as an assembly member. And they can't kill him in the room. They call police. They don't want to come. They call police at 45 minutes. They call commander. They don't want to come. So we don't agree. But you were here the, yesterday. The you came the to most painful thing is that, okay. as we call it, they didn't have car. But today they brought a lot of cars to get, investigate their place. What well, they have car, but they didn't come. So and they carry ammunition and come to that place. What the reason why they have it before and they were not able to come there yesterday? And today, this uh, early morning, before they came to that place, what is the problem with them? But yesterday you were here already. You came to block the road. You make your point. Why are you blocking the road again today? Because this, uh, the road has nothing to do with what happened. Yesterday they came to investigate. We you know the reason why they, they should have told us. They just came to the office and then begin to drive all around the town. We don't know what they are, they are doing over here. So we wanted to explain to the reason why they are in this town now. So, so that is what, so you're not going to allow any vehicle to move? No vehicle is going to move from today. Until what? Until they Tomorrow. declare to us that this is the reason why they are here and what they have done concerning the investigation. Okay, now this uh, vehicle here is a hearse, it's carrying a dead body. Yes. You will not allow it to move. That's no a, car yeah, is person no. here. Why? Why won't you allow this the one? Since they have not come to declare to us what they have investigated for, we are not going to allow any car to pass this okay. place. Okay, thank you. you not yes. even an aeroplane will be allowed to pass. Not even an aeroplane will pass. But, but, but why? But, but Seriously, what, what, no aeroplane will pass. Okay. This thing has been going on for so many months and years now. The reason is our police here in South Town, Sugagopa particular, they are not effective. Every week you hear that they shot somebody or an robber attack somebody and there is no investigation. Today we heard that the regional minister is in town. They said they are doing press conference. Press conference doesn't bring us any solution. No clue. Nothing. From today we are going to block this barrier to further notice. Now the tires are inflamed. Uh, they are throwing plastic chairs um, into into the fire. Uh, the heat, the heat is becoming unbearable now. Um, but the idea is to make a point, and the point is that uh, they, they they expect the police to come and answer questions. Why they do not attend to them on time when the assemblyman was being killed? And yet today the police have arrived with vehicles. That essentially is their concern. And that is why they are chanting what they are chanting. Let me speak to these young ladies. Um, what's your name? My name is Bankers. Bankers, what's the problem here? Uh, just, just yesterday, on the day before yesterday, that was Saturday, in the night, I received a call that a, a friend and a brother was being attacked. By the time I got the message and I rushed to the police, he was dead and was carried away. But my information was that the police were called. He's a good friend to the commander, the district commander. He bought items for the district, uh, divisional commander, I suppose. This guy is a very good committee member. Kaboni Hospital, every birthday of his, that is November, November 27th or so, he buys items for, for the... Uh, okay, um, I, I need to uh, quickly just say that. Um, this, this is looking a bit crazy now. Um, plastic chairs have been held into the the, the the blazing fire the people here 
are very unhappy uh, with the death of the assembly member and they have decided to show that anger by doing what they are doing. Uh, which is first of all blocking the road and if you look in front of me all the vehicles that were moving from Accra or from Ivory Coast or wherever in the western part of Ghana towards the eastern part uh, have been prevented from moving. Uh, what this means is that access to the neighboring Togo, access to Togo and the Volta region uh, would be impossible unless you had to reroute and use the Adomi Bridge uh, which is a longer journey. Now these people would have none of it despite the fact that there's heavy police presence in this community. They would not listen. I'm going to go in and uh, see if I can speak to a few more people and possibly observe what is happening. Well the smoke is thick. The tires are burning. The road Roads have been blocked, the vehicles are stationary, the people are rowdy and angry and unhappy. Nearby though is a police post. Let me attempt to see if I can get a comment or two. Um, hello officers, can I speak to anybody? I'm from CTFM. Um, my name is Umar Rosanda. Um, our, our commander is on the Mm -hmm. Yes, but you, I was expecting you to be able oh, to... You are not the best person to. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Who, can, who can I speak to? Where is your commander? Ah, they are the regional minister. Yeah. Uh, they are with the regional minister. Okay. Yes. So you can't do anything about it? No, no, no. All right. Thank you so much. Um, now, the, the, the police station, uh, let me just check. Uh, is There's a police post here, uh, but there's no one in there. And, and just let me just quickly show you. When I turned around attempting to speak to these uh, police officers, a storm just moved in here and they are not happy uh, with the fact that I've been attempted to come to the police station. Now this is a crazy spectacle, if you just uh, I could see the gentleman here is attempting to prevent people, they will not allow any police officer to speak. On the other side there's a scaffold ongoing, uh, this scaffold I am not sure what it has to do uh, with, uh, these, are, these are people who are, I'm not sure what the scaffold is all about, uh, struggling to uh, I'm not sure whether they want to take the bench of the police bench to put it in the fire. Another group that would not agree to that. Uh, what this means is that the group is divided. Uh, there are some who are against vandalism. Of course, there are others who are interested in just destroying. It seems the, uh, the reasonable group has won. And, um, well, a stone has just been held at the, at the, at the, at the window of the police. And there are others who are preventing uh, these people from going the way they want to go. Uh, it must be a very chaotic scene. It is very boring. They called them. It took them about 45 minutes. The people they were breaking the door for 45 solid minutes to one hour before they were able to break the door. But yesterday, when, they, when we were gathered here, and they called police from Togo. Now I was I was told that there was police from Accra that went to help in the elections. They called them within less than 45 minutes. They arrived from Togo down here. I need to move from this smoke now. Uh, suffice it to say that these people are not happy with the presence of the local authority here. The district chief executive for this area uh, is attempting to find solutions. The regional minister Archibald Lecha is in town, but the youth will not allow him. Uh, the reason he has come here uh, continues to be the problem. Uh, the problem of the closure of the road yesterday, the murder of the assemblyman. Now that situation has spiraled into what we are seeing today, the, another blockage of the major road. This issue is getting crazier by the moment. Uh, this young, young man here has been assaulted. Uh, he was holding a mobile phone. Uh, I do not know. Benjamin Aklama is a Volta regional correspondent. He's here with me. Ben, is that a journalist? No, he's not a journalist. He's just a resident of the area. And before now, they had come to warn that those who are filming with mobile phones are giving out uh, information about those who are leading the, the uh, actions on the road here. And so they were warning everybody who is not a journalist to put their phones away and not to film and allow just journalists to cover the events of the day. So the person, I mean, that, that guy was suspected to have been filming against the orders of the leadership of, of those who are uh, causing the issues. No, no one here is allowed to film unless they are journalists exactly. properly accredited. Uh, exactly. That's so they why will not attack journalists, but no, they will not let no, their own... No. I mean, they've allowed us to film all this while, yeah. myself including you, uh, but the, anybody else who has raised a camera or a phone uh, has been asked to put it down and they will verify first whether you are a journalist and if you don't have any identification they attack you and ask you and sometimes if you see the mobile phones they've seized about it, about two already i've seen we're going to go back into the crowd and see what else their next line of action would be this is city newsroom on city tv i am umaru sandamadu coming to you from sogakopa in the Volta region the protesters are moving and they are moving to the police station we're told which is the biggest police station here 
And uh, you can see them fleeing and moving, carrying clubs, carrying sticks, riding motorbikes, and of course, uh, very angry and agitated. I'm not sure what's going to happen at the police station, but we'll go to see.